So security awareness is a phrase that I think is loaded with baggage. And it's also inadequate to describe what we actually, what I think we want and what we need. So when somebody says security awareness, the follow through with that usually involves putting some form of information in front of somebody. I just call that information dissemination. And it's usually information dissemination with the hope that as somebody reads that or views it, that they'll naturally change their behavior. And anybody that's been a teacher or a parent or has lived in the world for more than a few years knows that just giving somebody information doesn't always get the results you want because there's a gap between knowing something and caring about that thing. And there's even a gap between caring about something and wanting to act in the right way and actually doing it. That's why we have so many failed New Year's resolution lists. And so when we think about security culture, it awareness may be a nucleus within that, but it's so much more. So security culture, the way that we define it is that it is the ideas, the customs and the social behaviors of a group that influence that group's security overall. So it's really this this red through line of security values that goes throughout an organization. And then we even break that up into seven different components that can be measured. Attitudes, behaviors, cognition, communication, compliance, norms, and responsibilities. And so it really is the idea that From the perspective of an organization, the security culture is just the way that things are done in that organization when it comes to security, the things that people think, the things that they believe, the ways that they act, and then all of the unwritten rules and social pressures that come along with that as well. 